Hello, everyone. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodman, and over there is Mr. Shave, Mr. John Lewandowski. Uh, uh -huh. No shave November may be over, but uh, I still got it. <laughs> uh -huh. um, I, I, I'm, I'm not going to go until we lose. How about that one? I'll, I'll let it grow until we lose in regulation. <laughs> and I'm talking about the Admirals. Uh, I, I, my gut does not tell me good about tonight versus New I believe we play New Jersey. Yeah. I don't have a good gut feeling about that. Um, But uh, our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, Toyo True, West Side Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. Today, the Admirals took on the Manitoba Moose. Um, the last time we played the Moose, um was November 22nd and we won five to one. Uh we played them on October 22nd and we lost five to two in our home opener. Not exactly how we wanted to start said season. But from this point out, I got pretty good from there on. Yeah. Um, so at this point, I will turn it over to stats guy, Mr. John Lewandowski. Mm -hmm. All right. Shots on goal in the first period. Manitoba outshot Milwaukee 15 to 9. In the second period, Milwaukee outshot Manitoba 15 to 12. In the third period, Milwaukee outshot Manitoba 13 to 8. And in overtime, Milwaukee outshot Manitoba 4 to 3. In total, Milwaukee outshot Manitoba 42 to 38. Now on the power play, Milwaukee went 0 for 3 with 4 minutes, 2 infractions, and Manitoba went 1 for 1 with 10 minutes, 5 infractions. All righty. Uh, in uh, so scoring in the first was Tommy Novak at the 11:41 mark with his eighth of the season with an assist from Luke Evangelista, his 13th. That Novak Schneider Evangelista line is probably the most potent we got. Right. Um, you know, and I'm saying this, it's it's been really. <laughs> We keep beating this drum, but this team's never out of it. Right. For whatever reason, we're what five and four on games where we trail going into the third. Yeah. That's that's an insane to have a winning record when you're trailing going into the third. Right. And tonight's another one which would add it to six. Or this afternoon, I'm sorry. Morning afternoon game. Um, then Alex, Alex Limoges scores his sixth with an assist from Tyler Bolin. In the second, at the 937 mark, Manitoba gets on the board from Wyatt Bongiovanni. His fourth, assisted by Kristen Reichel, his fifth, and Billy Hainala, his eighth. At the 1015 mark, the Admirals get on the board with a goal from Tommy Apap, his first. Assisted by Joachim Kondalik, his third, and Tim Schaller, his fifth. And on the power play at the 1634 mark of the second, Manitoba gets on the board with a goal from Jeff Malott, his eighth. Assisted by Alex Lemojis, his tenth, and Kevin Stenland, his tenth. Uh, I don't know if you mentioned, but that was on the power play. Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, and then Cole Schneider in the third at the uh, fourth, 16 mark scores his ninth with an assist from Novak, his 11th, and Graval, his sixth. Overtime, no scoring. Um, there was a spot in the second, I think it was Wyatt Bongiovanni's goal. Right before that, the Admirals had had a puck um, go into the net, uh, but they blew it dead. Um, just one of those really bad calls by the refs. Um, I think that would have changed things a little bit, but it, it happens. So we get to the shootout, and the shootout is uh, first shooter was Tommy Novak, no goal. Uh, Kevin Stedland, no goal. Uh, Jordan Gross, um, he decided to go five-hole goal. 
uh, uh, Jeff Malott got beat far side, so uh, uh, got a piece of the post on the far side and it went wide. And then Luca Evangelista goes toe dragged uh, backhand. Uh, and Roof Daddy and the Admirals walk home yet again. This is our third straight win in a row. This is our fourth winning streak. Yeah. The three stars of the game were Tommy Novak uh, with a goal and an assist. Um, Alex uh, uh, Limoges his, with a goal and an assist. And first star was Jordan Gross with uh, the uh, game winner, as you call it. Um, because technically he scored and uh, Evangelista, you know, put the icing on the cake. So um, in net for them was Oscari uh, uh, Salmanen. Uh, he stopped 38 of 41. Um, Yaroslav Askarov was in net for the Admirals. Uh, he picks up his sixth straight win. He stops 53 of 38. That's good enough for a 92.1 save percentage. Yes, I actually did the math before doing the show. <laughs> um, head coach for the Milwaukee Admirals is Carl Taylor, assistant coach Scott Ford, assistant coach Greg Roller, goaltender and coach Dave Rook. Coaches for the Manitoba Moose is the return of the Mac, Mark Morrison. Ha, ha, ha. If you don't get that joke, you're not old enough. <laughs> um, Nolan Bumgarner, former Manitoba Moose, longtime player, Eric Dubois, uh, assistant coach, goaltending coach, Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre was an Admirals goal goalie from 2008 to 2010. Uh, attendance at the school day game at the Canada Life Center is 6,222. Your referees were Grady Hamilton and uh, Morgan McPhee. Linesmen were Spencer Knox and Justin Johnson. With this win, the Admirals take, a, uh, take into third place in the league. Divisionally speaking, we are now taking a large gap of being a six points ahead of second place. Um, as we are the best in our division. Yep. Um, by five games. Um, as far as the win column, we have no overtime or shootout losses. <laughs> I have wood in the chair. I found it. <laughs> Knock on wood. Um, we don't, We yeah, we leave a point on the table, but we always seem this year to make sure that we walk away with the extra one. Um, right. The Admirals also, interesting statistic, are uh, the second least penalized team in the entire league next to the Rochester Americans at 152 penalty minutes where the Admirals have 155. Okay. That's good. So there's another little statistic anomaly for you guys as well. Yeah. Um, talking about it from a perspective of this, do you think you would have saw Askarov winning six straight coming in right off of the jump as a rookie? No. Like this early in the year too. Like the, I mean, I, I, by the end of the season, you can see it, but maybe not now. Right. <clears throat> and it just shows the hype that's around him, why it's real. Yeah. You know, and, and he the diving poke check always gives me a heart attack. Mm. He did that during OT, and I'm just like, <gasps> Pekka did that too, and I'm just like, no. But it's a Euro goalie thing. They never, they rarely miss them. The Euro goalies are di that they're diving poke check. There's not a real good consistent way to beat them because they when they're coming at you they're like this, but they're coming at you forward. So you when you're coming at them, their legs are still like this. So when they dive at you, they're going down. So you can't roof the puck. You're gonna go over the boards. Yeah, because you're so far away. You can't just chip it over him because he's gonna stop it. So like he they have that he has it down to a science, little things like that that where you're just like, uh, please, no. Um the Admirals, like I said, are now on a three game winning streak. I'm gonna do a little bit of research here for you guys on the NHL front for 
Um, the uh, oh, uh, hang on a second. Uh, um, the devils here. Um, I would also like to issue a statement here. Um, um, let's hang out indefinitely. Uh, after for uh, the Penguins after a stroke, the defenseman will have test condition and not believed to be career threatening. Um, at thirty five years old, um. Uh, Um, this did happen to him back in 2014. He had a stroke back then. He has a small hole in his heart. They normally close by themselves. But they're not sure whether, you know, whether or not that's that's that. Um, all right, let's get into it. Well, uh, let's talk about uh New Jersey. New Jersey's 19 and 4. Um yeah. to say I didn't see that coming, uh would be an understatement. Um, no one saw the Devils doing what they're doing. Uh, the Devils had been in rebuild mode for so long. Um, let's just put it this way. The Devils are fourth in the league in goals for versus goal and second in the league again for goals against. So, um, they averaged 2.22 goals a game against, given up, and they averaged 3.7 goals for per game. So watch out for that. Um, the Them and the Preds are pretty even in the faceoff circle where the Preds are fifth and they are sixth. So there's a pretty even marker there. Uh, penalty kill, the uh, Devils are ninth, the Preds are 12th. Power play, the Devils are 24th and the Preds are 27th. So in those areas, it is very close. In the goals for versus goals against game, the Preds are getting clowned on in that area. Not that I'm trying to say it that way, but it is truth. Um they're they're just not good. Uh they're 30th in the league for goals for versus goals against. And they're 15th in the league again in goals against in the league. The Devils are second in the league, period. They're right behind New Jersey. Or not right right behind Boston, sorry. Boston, who's won every game at home so far. Um Jack Hughes is their point leader with uh, five goals. Nico Hischier has five assists. Yoda C. Siegenthaler has seven, uh, plus seven um, in his last five games. Robin Yossi has seven points, two goals, four, five assists. Uh, Ryan McDonough is a plus five. In your goalie comparison, uh, Saros is uh, eight, six, and two um, with a 2.9, two goals against average with a point nine, one, zero. Same percentage of the season, no shutouts. Uh, uh, Vitek Panacek, uh, Vitek Panacek, uh, for the Devils as uh, eleven and two with a two point one two goals against average and a point nine two one or nine two three same percentage with one shutout. Um. Uh, Jasper Bratt has twenty six points on the season already. Uh, Nico Heischer has twenty five. Jack Hughes has twenty six. Uh, Mercer has. 14. Uh, Tomas Tatar has 15. Mackenzie, uh, but Mackenzie Wood has 11. Uh, Dougie Hamilton has uh, 16. Um, and their goalies are it seems Vanacek and Mackenzie Blackwood. Blackwood's uh, if Blackwood ends up playing. He has four and two in seven games with a eight a point eight eight save percentage. 
a 0 0.880 save percentage and a 2.79 goals against. Uh, we have Arvid Schmid, who has played um, four games, has four wins, has four goals against with a 1.24 goals against average. Um, uh, Bernier and Dawes both have been called up. Neither one has played yet. Um, in that department, as far as that is concerned, I'm going to take a look and see if there were any transactions for them um, in the last couple days. Uh, so far, nothing there. Ah, yes, uh, Dawes has been sent down uh, to Utica, the Comets. Um, uh, that's about it there. Um. So that's all we got there for that. Um, see you guys later tonight. Um, um, also, for those of you who had the interest, uh, there's been a lot going on. Um, there, there will be a lot coming from us uh, in the coming weeks. Um, just note that on our days off, if we are a little slow on graphics, we've been a little enjoying our rest. <laughs> <laughs> just be honest we're enjoying our rest enjoying our relaxed time but alrighty I gotta let you guys go my kids are calling my name which means I gotta get to my everyday what I love to do and that is to be a dad so I'm gonna get back to that because the one thing I love more than doing this is being a dad so uh, thank you guys for watching well, thank you guys for watching from Milwaukee to Nashville brought to you by Hockey Latte. I'm Daniel Goodall, John Lundowski. See y'all later.